Um, on these binding posts, if you want, you can grab a flathead screwdriver, which I can't seem to find one right now. You can grab a flathead screwdriver and put it in there and just kind of tighten them down by hand. Um, be very careful, this aluminum screw is very soft and if you put the screwdriver in there and get it at all at an angle, it'll spin and leave a big marring mark on the side of your finger that doesn't look very good. I tend to just tighten them in by finger and leave them at that. If they become a problem, you can obviously put a little Loctite on them, which I don't know if I'd recommend. I don't know if you've ever get them out again. Um, I tend to just be one of those things where I just keep an eye on them to make sure they don't come out. They don't come loose very often, but I don't like to get them too tight because if I need to take the finger apart again, it gets difficult and I don't like marring up the side of the finger, the look of those screws. So be careful with those if you use a screwdriver on them, you can mar them. Um, okay, so we've got, I'm done with that. So we've got the main finger assembly done here. We've got our extra pin, and again, that belongs to this rear link. We don't, we're going to insert that after we put the finger together. We've got one binding post left, and then we've got our series of screws and nuts that hold the whole finger together. So we're going to go back to the base of the finger assembly. So hopefully by now you've your parts have dried. Your super glue parts will definitely be dry. The Elmer's glue parts might not be, but this feels pretty good, so I'm going to go ahead and work with it. So again, when you're assembling this part, especially if you're using super glue, be careful not to get super glue on your fixture because you won't be able to remove it. That'd be a bad thing. And again, you want to make sure that you can spin this screw in here should be loose. And it had gotten a little bit of glue on it from the Elmer's glue, but because I had coated it in the Vaseline, it couldn't stick, so I was able to break it loose very easily. So we'll start, we'll go ahead and pull off our fixture, set that aside. Now, two of these will come in a hand kit, just in case you break one as you're putting a set of four fingers together. Uh, one comes with a finger kit, but I'll give two in a hand kit because you have so many fingers to assemble. Okay, next thing we're going to do is we're basically just going to take and start screwing these two halves together. So insert it in there and start to spin it. And you'll notice it'll just kind of tighten down. And there you go, same thing. Now you'll notice that that binding post won't come tight together and hold the wood. Unfortunately the, the si dimension of the binding post versus the dimension of the wood there's just nothing that works exactly right. But it gives us a pivot point which is what we're looking for because what this mechanism does is it allows you to loosen a screw and tilt the finger so you can change how the fingers sit on the hand and we'll play with that more later on. So basically we're going to tighten this down. Again, you can take a screwdriver and stick it in here. Um, I can use this little screwdriver, it's not the greatest, but it's all I got right now. Stick it in here and just kind of give that a little bit of a twist. You'll find that this binding, this side of the binding post is glued in pretty good. So you can just kind of tighten this up and that other side won't move. So comfortable with that. Okay, once we've got those two pieces together, what we want to do is we want to insert the screw that holds them together. So if you come over here, you're going to find four larger 440 screws and you'll find these two small 256 screws. Those ones, the 256 we're not going to use yet, but the 440s we will use. So you want to grab one of those 440 screws, they're all the same length so it doesn't matter, and you're going to insert the screw from the whole end, not the slotted end. So you're going to insert the screw from the whole end, then you're going to take one of your flat washers, place it over that screw, and then you'll take one of your 440 nuts. Now there's going to be four 440 nuts in the kit along with four washers. So we're, we're working through our hardware here. We're going to set apart aside the parts we're not using. So this is the set of hardware that we're using right now. We're going to take this 440 nut and we're just going to start to tighten it down just by hand over top of that finger. Now. Here's where our Allen wrench is coming. So, set of standard Allen wrenches, you actually need three of the wrenches to do this set. You need a 16th inch wrench, you need a 5 64th, and you need a 3 
30 seconds. Sorry, I grabbed those out of the wrong place. I'm sorry. That's the 16th. That's the 564 and the 330 seconds. So those are the only ones we'll need. We'll set the rest aside. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your larger, which is larger, which is your 330 seconds, and it'll fit your 440 screw. And then I just use my needle nose because I have them handy. If you have a little nut driver that'll fit that, great. And you're just going to tighten this down. Now right now, for now, we're going to line up the front and the back of the finger equally, smooth across the side, no twist. Until we need a twist, we go ahead and, and, and build it just smooth. And then we're just going to kind of now... You don't need to get crazy, just a small little tighten just to lock the finger up. If you tighten these too much, you'll start to crush the wood, which is what you don't want to do. So everything is just a finesse on the, on the tightening. So that part tightens on there. Now what we can do is we can go ahead and join the finger to the finger base. And so how we're going to do that is you're simply going to take it and slide the two together. And then you're going to take that last 5 8 binding post and coming from the same side that you've brought all the others, you're just going to press it through there and it'll, it'll line up and give you a joint. Then we'll take our last threaded binding post and screw it in there. And again, just give it a good tightening. Okay, so that assembles the finger. Now, the last thing we have to do is we have to get this little uh, 16th inch pin in through this hole. So this becomes a little bit more difficult. So we kind of want to take that linkage we see there, and we just kind of want to eyeball everything. You're going to push that linkage in, and you're going to look through the little hole, and you're going to try to set everybody up. Now, the slot inside is slotted, so that one you don't have to worry about. You basically have to worry about this outside hole. So we're going to go ahead and start the pin in. And again, it might be a little tight fit at first. Kind of just wiggle it in there. And then what you can do is you can let it pop through a little bit, and that'll give you an idea where it is. And then you just kind of start adjusting this finger. And by straightening and, and by straightening or contracting the finger, you can slide that joint around. So I'm just going to slide it out a little bit until it gets lined up with the pin. And you can kind of feel it snap when it goes into the hole. Now that I know I've got the pin started in that linkage, I can go ahead and just kind of press it on through. And I just do that by setting it on the table there. And you can also, if you look at the hole on the other side, you'll start to see the linkage appear in that hole. That tells you that you've got the pin in the right spot. So once I get it going, I kind of just finish pressing it in. And again, this stuff is supposed to be tight. It's what kind of holds everybody together. And you can kind of give it a work. And then, once that link is in, the finger will be all connected together, and it'll actually bend like it should. Now again, it feels a little tight, but you know, if you're going to give it, and just kind of give it a little wiggle and run it back and forth a few times, you'll notice that it'll loosen up really quickly when you start exercising it with the servo, or just by hand.